Lynn Shea stars in the fourth installment of Insidious, The Last Key. We're rolling film right now. Hey guys, what's up? It's Russell here at House Hollywood Reviews. If you guys haven't, go ahead, click that subscribe button, that little bell notification icon. You get notified anytime I drop a new movie review, trailer review, anything new, you guys will get notified, so go ahead and do that. And also, go ahead and like and comment uh, after the video. Be on the lookout, though, uh, for 2018. We got a lot of good things coming in this channel, a lot of things we want to do. Um, we're going to do the uh, Road to the uh, Avengers Infinity. I think that'll be fun. We're going to review all the old films leading up to Avengers Infinity. I think that'll be fun. And also, uh, we're going to do a couple other things. I, I'm thinking about a, like a top 10 show or a top uh, top uh, top films of an actor or top films of a director. We're going to try to do that or we're going to do some retro reviews. There's a lot of ideas I have. I just don't know, you know, with time constraints and everything. I just, I'm trying to think of how I want to do it. But overall, I, li I like the direction that I'm, I'm, I'm trying to take this in 2018. And more importantly, if you guys haven't, absolutely subscribe to this channel. Um, we're at 63 subscribers. Um, and we're, we're making headway here. I'm trying to hit 100 here within the next couple months. Um, I appreciate everybody who's been on board. And I just really believe in this channel. And I think we're going to do a lot of good things. And we're going to entertain you guys with movie news and everything possible that we can talk about movies. So please uh, subscribe for sure. Uh, today we're going to be talking about Insidious, The Last Key. The movie's rated PG-13 with a runtime of an hour and 43 minutes. It stars Lynn Shay, uh, Lee Wannell, and Angus Sa Sampson, and it is directed by Adam Robidoux. This movie is the fourth installment in the uh, Insidious franchise, and if going into this movie, I would recommend watching the third one uh, because some of the stuff that happens in the third one carries over into the fourth one. The movie starts uh, with uh, Dr. Elise uh, Rainier, and we get the backstory of when she was younger and how she is in an abusive relationship with her father. <laughs> Um, her father doesn't like the fact that she claims to see uh, spirits and ghosts and stuff like that. So he uh, is very abusive to her physically. And then we get a little bit of a backstory about that. Fast forward to present day, uh, we get a call and the person who is currently living in her old house that she grew up with, uh, she grew up in as, as a child, uh, calls her because um, the the house is possessed. And so Elise, along with her new uh, her new team of Specs and Tucker, they go to Five Keys, New Mexico, to destroy Elise's fear, which would be a spirit that she set free previously. Uh, years back. Overall, what did I think of the film? The film was okay. I do appreciate the fact that the Insidious movies direct, uh, they, they're more of a story driven, uh, film as opposed to just the constant scares, the constant loud noise, the jump scares. Yes, there's some jump scares in this movie, but as a whole, it does rely on storyline, which I do appreciate. Overall though, to me, I like the backstory of Elise as when she was younger, um, and how she got her abilities and stuff like that. We kind of see the abilities that she has and leading up to the present. I, I did appreciate that. Overall though, the film just didn't do it for me. I feel like a lot of January horror movies just fall flat. Um, I gave this movie overall a 50 out of a hundred. I just, I didn't really appreciate, uh, anything else outside of the backstory of Elise. Um, overall there was a couple little jump scares here and there, but just overall, it just, it didn't do much for me. So to me, I just, I cannot recommend it. Yeah, overall, there's not a whole lot to go into with this movie because the movie really isn't that elaborate. Like I said, it really just uh, focuses on Elisa's character when she was younger, and basically we get a backstory of how uh, you know how her home life was, and then it, it fast forwards to present with her uh, teaming up with Specs and Tucker, like it, like she was at the end of the third film. That's why I said the third film is a good uh, start off point to watch this one. So overall, the uh, movies go three, four, one, and two for chronological. Um, so like I said, I, the movie overall, I, I'd give it a 50 out of 100. It just didn't do a lot for me. But I do appreciate that the Insidious movies do uh, uh, rely a little bit more on story as opposed to uh, cheap scares. So I do appreciate that about the film. But more importantly, have you guys seen Insidious The Last Key? If you have, did you guys enjoy the film? Did you think it was the best one in the franchise or did you think it was the worst one on a franchise? Sound off there in the comments. Um, overall, what is your favorite Insidious movie? Sound off there in the comments. Let's talk. And join me next time in House Hollywood Reviews when I bring you The Shape of Water. Until then, we'll see you guys in Hollywood.